Hello everyone and welcome to Inside the Box Gaming. Um, Luke or BD9538 or a lava TNT door bedrock kind of guy. And I am playing Isles of the Sky. It is a complete the monument slash survival map. So think like Skyblock mixed with Vex. Hopefully this isn't as hard as a Vex map. There is a point system to go with this map. Um, I'll include that in the description, I guess, because since I'm just doing this alone, it'd be kind of boring for me to take time to read that. Um, sorry for my voice sounds a little weird. My, I don't think I'm sick, but I haven't been feeling entirely great recently. Um, and I know I owe you guys three videos this week, because I only did one last week, and I want to do two a week. So let's go ahead and get started. And in Minecraft, you should always start by punching a tree. When in doubt, punch a tree. Just tree punching is Minecraft. If you are playing legit survival, you have to punch a tree. There's just no other way to do it. And that's about the extent of... Well, no, that's not the extent of Minecraft. Minecraft's much better than that. But... I mean, if you think about it, that is kind of a huge part of Minecraft, just because of how important that tree is. Let's go ahead and mine that, too. Just while it's convenient. And I probably should have built a sapling green around this before I took it all down or whatever. Okay, um, other tools. It's always good, yeah, at least right there. It's always good to have other tools and not fall in the void. That's really good too. There's some bedrock there that probably holds the spawn point in place. <coughs> so, if you uh, die, you can't like break all the blocks here and then spawn in the regular overworld. Did I pick up the dirt from that? I don't know. It's night time. This map. Oh, that's a shame. This map starts on the uh, later side the day, I guess. Let's plant that more in the middle. Okay. So, let's make some stuff. I usually only just make the wooden pick, and then I make all stone tools for everything else. Um, just because all you need is a wooden pick to get the stone, and then I like having the stone tools because they're at least semi-decent, and then that way I can do things quicker. Kind of tempted to see if I can pick a, a couple blocks of wool from this, just because um, then I can make a bed. Monster might wake me up though. <sighs> well, I could try and bridge to another island. I have the resources. I don't really want to go over there though because there's a creeper there. Um, one of the things that you get points for is making a cobblestone generator. Which means I will have access to infinite cobblestone at some point. Meaning that bridging over here using cobblestone is acceptable. So, this is an ore victory monument. There's another victory monument over there. And you get some number of points for each monument you complete. So, I don't really want to go too far from this island in case things start spawning here. 
but I could use more wood. I don't really want to fight creepers, so let's go. I don't have a chest. If I'm gonna go jumping after stuff, I want a chest. Hmm. Guess I could try getting over to that uh, map, and then things will start spawning back here. Um. So this might. What difficult? Okay, I'm on auto. So this might be a kind of boring night. So I'll probably jump cut it. There's my inventory. And yes, I do have too many items open. But, um. Well, if I suddenly come back with diamond armor, it would be pretty apparent that I had cheated, so. I'm not gonna close that. But, um, I'll probably end up just jump cutting the night. Because, um. Um, it's gonna be boring. That's what I was looking to say. So, um, I don't know. If anything exciting happens, then I'll include that. I guess I'll go ahead and try and get the, uh, I'm not good with my words right now. Try and get the jungle. Just keep an eye out on the home base. Also, if that sapling gets destroyed, we could could be in trouble. There are other trees here. I keep forgetting that it's not like skyblock in the uh, resource aspect, so there are at least other trees you can cut down if something goes wrong with your first. So, um, kind of want to grab some of that glowstone, actually. That looks like a fun island. The one with the lava. That one too. Hopefully a skeleton doesn't shoot me off here. That'd suck. Because you lose points each time you die. In this point system. Good, there's nothing here. Yes, the tree is floating. Your OCD can be appeased now. And mine. I dislike leaving trees floating, but <clears throat> that trip needed to be quick. There's a brown sheep on that island. Okay. So now I can make a chest and feel a little bit safer about running around to other places. So I'm gonna try and uh, jump this wall. Yeah, that's why I wanted the chest. I'm not very good at the uh, parkour. Okay, I don't... I feel like if the spawning fails, it shouldn't count as a death. Because otherwise this map is going to be unplayable. So, uh, I'll have to mention that in the, uh, in a map review. Probably bring up the spawn point problem. Although that bedrock does look pretty centered, so as long as the spawn point's focused on that bedrock, shouldn't be too much of a problem. Except you get, like, I don't know, I think it's because of the uh, fact that Minecraft single player has multiplayer physics now. It's been glitching a lot, and I don't think 1. Point, I think 1.3.2 actually broke more than it fixed. <sighs> that one was my fault. And this one is not my fault. There. I'm glad I built that bridge. I think I might need to expand this island some. So I have two deaths of my own doing, and then like four in the void. I'll have to go back and watch this to see how many it actually was. Mm. 
<sighs> Another option could be cut down some of that tree, cut down some of those trees, bring it back here, make a furnace, and make some charcoal to light this island up. That doesn't seem like a bad idea. I might want my tools though. At least some of them. And I sneezed. In case I edit that out. For like half a second I sneezed right then, so we'll have to see how that sounds because sneezing sounds kinda weird over a mic. Nothing's coming to eat us yet. I think it's getting yeah, it's getting close to morning. Which is good. Morning's always better than night. There are no hostile mobs around. Oh god. I know that sound. That is not a good sound. <sighs> okay. Hard attack over. Let's go mining. Because I need the furnace for the charcoal, because now that it is sunlight, I can finally have torches. Okay, so each plank burns for one and a half cycles on the thing, so two planks is enough to burn three wood. Ah, it's for planks. Oh well. Okay, so I think if we're gonna do this, I'm just gonna have to kind of build a bridge. I know the parkour sounds more fun, but... I don't know. I'll build the bridge and then I'll try the parkour without dying. Like, I'll have the bridge there to catch me. But, um, if I land on the bridge, I'll just count it against a successful run. Okay, I'll just leave that stick there, I guess. I like that the, uh, head follows your mouse. Even though mine's just a block of TNT. Always light your bridges up, by the way. It is, uh, very important to do that. Because if you don't, you will have difficulty accessing your areas over the bridge, because bridge fighting is very difficult. I don't know how experienced the people who watch this are, but... I'm just pointing out everything I've noticed. So now we have some... That's why you always keep a backup pickaxe on hand. Because if you do something stupid, like walk off the edge of your bridge, you can at least recover some. I mean, that sapling would have helped me recover, but... Um, I was watching Vex's, or, what's his name? Uh, how do you pronounce it? I don't know. But I was watching his developer commentary, and, um, he said, always think in a way that if I were to die right now, how able would I be? How easily, how easy would it be for, something like, how easy would it be for me to start back up from this point? So basically, if you die with, like I just did, will you be able to keep going on in this map easily, or will you have to wait a while? So, just kind of want to leave a little bit of a cushion for yourself. So it's a shame I lost those torches, but overall that wasn't a very significant death. I can never really get that one, get my uh, tool crafting entirely right. Okay, and 
I always keep my inventory in the setup you see there with the torches sixth, and then if I have about seventh, and then that way I just kind of know. Oh, I had sticks. I just kind of know where everything is at any given moment. Which is uh, useful in like combat. So I just have to keep scrolling around and trying to find where everything is. And I know that if you just kind of keep track of where you place everything to begin with, that's not really a problem, but that's just how I do it. Okay. And yes, I am going to begin editing my uh, videos a little bit more than I have been, because I don't think I've really edited one before, except for the last one I just said it's kind of poor quality. Oh, and uh, speaking of super hostile maps, me and uh, Chance and Garrett, I don't know if you guys have ever seen Garrett in an inside the box um, gaming video, but we were playing Waking Up, and uh, we came across some silverfish, and because we didn't really know that silverfish only spawn if you um, deal damage to them without killing them. We ended up with like 200 silverfish and a very laggy server. So that was fun. There we go. Get some charcoal back and try not to fall into things again. Um, let's get some more cobblestone. And I think this is... I'm pretty sure he, or whoever made this, it might be a she, um, made it appear. Yes! Coal. And iron. So they, and the chest. This is going good. Except there's only one iron. Guess I don't really need the charcoal anymore, but, hmm, torches are always good. Food. Food is great. Oh, and the tree grew. See, things always get better once you die. Maybe. So let's go ahead and make some armor. And uh, you can hide helmets and boots in either, and by hide I mean the way I just did it, in either um, chest plates or pants. It's just I prefer chest plates because it's bigger, and I want the bigger armor item first. So let's put that chest there. It, it bugs me when the things aren't at the top, so take care of that. And we won't smelt that iron yet, because all we could make with it is a shovel, and then I'd also be wasting some uh, burn resources. So, then we'll leave, go ahead and leave the charcoal behind for a later date if needed. And uh, we'll take a piece of bread with us in case this expedition goes on longer than I am expecting it to. You know what I, oh no, it's not pyramided, it has like little fangs dripping down. I mean, the center part was. This is the center. Is this? Yeah, that's the center. Okay. Ooh. We'll block any holes to the void where we fa can fall in. I don't think I need a guardrail, though. I might add one in around the top of the island just to be safe later on. And we'll leave that block of stone there, in case we need to mine it later. Now let's go ahead and visit this hut. And uh, can we see any ores? No, not really. I think I've pretty much maxed out the mining potential of this island. You know, I should probably dig up that hill, just see if there's anything in it. That little mini hill that the tree started on. Okay. Traveler's Hut. 
There's a dungeon here. And some wool. Go ahead and snag that. Because we need a bed. Food is valuable. Actually, let's go ahead and leave all of that. Um, things I won't need. Might need the axe. I don't think I'll need the hoe. Torches I'll need. Cobblestone I might need. I'll, I'll leave that the torches there. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and cut down this tree. So if you find something valuable in a map, if you don't need it immediately, then you should um, store it in the chest. Because that way it's safe as long as the creeper doesn't blow it up. Or as long as there's no TNT trap. I could actually take this house down and use it too. But I think we're actually good on resources for now. So let's go ahead and find out the source of that noise. And Ooh, there's valuable stuff and a creeper. Let's see if we can. Ooh, lots of creepers. I think there's a. Oh god, the 